working on the neck. So you saw a few shots of me uh, starting the neck shaping and kind of jumped ahead a little bit here. So I've got the neck to my rough, rough thickness and I've got the heel roughed out. So I've got a lot of cleanup to do here. I've still got some more cleanup to do. I can feel, you know, shoulders and stuff in there that I don't want. I still got to work on the volute some more or the volute. Just wanted to kind of give you a progress update. Things are looking pretty good. Um, I'm more pleased with the way this one's turning out than the last one. Um, I think I had it too thick down here. I think the overall neck on my last guitar was too thick. So what I think I'm going to do is work on this uh, volute a little bit more and then switch over to sandpaper and start trying to get this final thickness down and smoothed out. All right, it's been a week since I started working on the neck. And since that last clip that you just saw, I did do a little bit more work on the heel and on the volute. The volute looked too much like a tongue to me, <laughs> so I rounded it off more and uh, it looks a little better. The back strap being so thick, I think just makes it look real heavy. So definitely on the next guitar, thinner back strap. It just looks too thick coming up that volute. But anyway, it is what it is at this point. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm much more happy with the carve of this neck than I was on the last guitar. I've just got just a rounded over top. Inspired from seeing different builders on Instagram, really. I don't know if this is a particular person's style. Anything I do in the videos is just kind of based on what I see on Instagram. So all of the builders on Instagram, I draw inspiration from all of them. So um, I hope that I'm not taking anybody's design and not giving credit. If there's something specific that I'm doing that is specifically a certain builder's trademark thing, I don't know. I don't know. So if there if there is something that I'm doing uh, that I haven't given somebody credit because I don't know to give the person credit, please let me know. Um, I don't. I definitely don't want to take uh, people's designs. You know, make it look like look it like it's mine. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing that. I want to I want to be respectful to the guitar building community. I'm a newbie. Coming in here, I don't want to act like I'm getting any gains from stealing some design idea from somebody, okay? So let me know if, if I've done that in any way. I, I, if I did do it, I didn't mean to do it for sure. So, all right, so I'm done with the neck car for now. I mean, it's going to be some finished sanding, of course, but um, I'm really much more happy with this guitar neck than I was with the last one. I tried to come a little bit farther down and start the curve a little bit lower. And, uh, just tried to go for a, a more uniform design instead of having the, the shape I did on my last guitar. Which the shape I did on my last guitar was completely just to hide a mistake that I made. So I didn't intend to go into that guitar real doing that shape. Um, I've seen people doing that shape on Instagram. Again, that's another one of those things. Did I, did I steal somebody's design and I didn't even know it? I did it for a specific purpose to hide an issue. So uh, I think next is radiusing the fretboard. So let me go ahead and get set up and I'll get started. Before I move on, I wanted to make a, a mention about these two little files. Uh, these were so helpful in the, the carve of the neck this time, um, up around the volute, up around the transition of the heel, and then even the transition from the neck up into the, uh, the sides of the fretboard binding. Uh, and they're a much finer, they leave a much finer surface than my other files. So it was real nice to be able to just minutely adjust here and there with these little files. And I totally didn't even buy them for the neck carve. I bought, I bought them at the end of the last guitar build for a specific purpose up by the um, by the nut so but they're part of a stew mac kit these are like little needle files and they were not that expensive for thinking about stew mac tools <laughs> you know these were not expensive uh, compared to other tools you may get from stew mac you know they don't got the black handle they don't have like the red color like they're well, for most of their tools now but these were so useful if you're going to get some go ahead and do it because they were they're helping me a lot on the on the neck car with this guitar so just wanted to make that comment yeah it does not want to be playing that way
I touched the neck back on the body because I wanted to check the distance of the saddle again. And I'm right where I want to be. Uh, but I do need to point out a flaw. I screwed up. For some reason, I decided to take my plane and go the opposite way of what I was supposed to. I was supposed to plane this way. I decided that at the beginning, whenever I first took a plane uh, pass, I could tell that I needed to go this way. For, for whatever reason, I just grabbed the plane and went this way. And I just kind of <laughs> gouged the whole side of the fretboard and i can't go down any thinner so i can't get past them so these are not part of the guitar it is what it is uh yet another lesson learned to uh you know think before i act or just slow down take my time i, I don't know i mean i was i wasn't trying to rush i just forgot i don't know anyway i hate it i really do but i gotta move on it's just gonna be part of the guitar so now I got to put the side dots. I didn't do side dots on the last guitar, but I did front dots. On this guitar, I'm not doing any front dots, and I'm going to do side dots. Uh, I did the front dots on the last guitar, and no side dots, and that's messed with my, my head, because I, I guess I look at those dots more than I thought I ever did. So this time, and I've seen people do this, no fret dots on the front, fret dot markers on the side. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Of course, it bounced on my foot and went under the table. Let me go ahead and finish these and I'll come back. Super thin, super glue. As you can see, I've got an array of tools here. I'm ready to get started on the fret wire. And I've got some gold EVO fret wire. So it's really it's supposed to be really kind of, I don't know if it's as hard as stainless steel, but it's harder than the nickel frets from what I understand. I don't know why I got this. I guess I just see people using it. So I may go back to nickel after this. Maybe, maybe it's going to be too difficult to work with. I don't know, but I'm about to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them. Hope I don't mess this up. I have not gotten the nice Stumac fred nippers yet there everything has jumped in price right now like when i got these they were already expensive and i just saw the price online right now they've jumped i think like 30 dollars <laughs> in price it's crazy so i just couldn't see buying the the fret nippers when i've got these that could probably do a okay job didn't seem any harder to cut than the than the nickel All right, so what I did not do on the first guitar, I'm going to do this guitar. I'm going to file the bottom of the tang just to make sure I'm good. I didn't have any issues on the last guitar not doing this, but just in case. I'm going to try doing the super glue first before I put the fret in. Last time I put the frets in, then just kind of wicked the super glue in there, and then I had a lot of cleanup to do. So I've seen people do it this way. first one's in there and it looks pretty good can't complain can't complain let me go ahead and finish all these other ones out and I'll show you what it looks like at the end that's just an update I'm five in and I just realized that I forgot to clean the fret wire <laughs> before starting so I went and got some naphtha you can see what came off of it so uh, I did not clean the, the frets of my first guitar. I guess I forgot to do it on that guitar too, and I didn't re remember till right now on this one. So hopefully these first five will be okay over the long run. But just wanted to make a note uh, in case you're wondering. Yes, I did forget, but I, I remembered and I cleaned them off, and they're actually quite dirty. Okay, one more update. Uh, you can see I've got three, four frets left. I've messed up on two frets with this thing. 
I guess when I went to cut tang, I didn't realize it, but I had the fret wire turned sideways one time and I just nipped it the wrong way. And then the very next one, it was kind of crooked a little bit and I put a, a, a mark on the top. So I had to throw those two away. Well, now all I've got left is this. <laughs> and I've got four left. Uh, I'm going, it's going to be real close. I, I, I got a feeling I'm going to come up just shy. But we'll find out here in a second. That's all I had left. Like a one and a half inch piece. So apparently, I, I don't know why, I guess I thought there would be a little bit more than that. I mean, I think there'd be enough for at least two or three extras just in case. If I would have known that, I would have bought a little bit more. Now I gotta hold, buy a whole nother set and wait for it to come in. So I was really hoping to end this video with attaching the neck to the guitar and gluing the fretboard extension down. I was really hoping that for that to be the end of the video this weekend. Uh, so this is kind of just a, a bummer. Um, this did not go as well as the first guitar. I did better on my, on my first guitar. Apparently, uh, I decided to try to use this side. And apparently, you have to hit right perfect because if you get any kind of angle. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. I've like hit the fretboard a couple of times. So then I switched over to just using this side and I did great the rest of the way. So I've got the gouges from the plane, <laughs> some hammer hits in it, which I'm going to try to steam out, I guess. And, uh, and then I'm going to fret short. What in the world? Man, you should know. Anyway, all right, so that's the end of the video. All right, I'm, gonna stop. I'm at a stopping point. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.